get it to go. In an offensive showcase, early doors. Hello, open inside, upstairs to Saar. Rice goes right back to work. Saar wants to tee up the three ball. Oh, Just hello. showing off. Absolutely. Damo said he won't give us a lift. Hang on, the audacity of these two, you guys are flying out <laughs> on the red eye. And he said to me, oh, do you live out near the airport? <laughs> hey, I, I want to say there's only one of us. Is... Nine and Saar pulls it down. Seven points. Five rebounds now for Alex Saar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Super coach team, thank you. Doyle is up to seven assists now. And I see, I dare say a fair few of those have come in this fourth quarter because he's got the ball in his hands more often than not. That pick and roll, he's just pull, picking them apart. And the second and third best fourth quarter teams in the competition. Last year, Perth and Tassie. Saar goes up strong. And he... go ahead, go ahead. The Wildcats can reset with ten on the clock. Cotton. Inside to Saar, turn around and the finish. What about the touch from the French next up? Young kids to get out there and they can measure themselves against young pros and see where they stand. And Henschel was very good, Saar was very good, and he gets a look from up top. I do back in the day, Bryce Cotton played the whole first quarter and he started the second. There's no reason for him to come out of the game as Saar attacks, grim attack right away out of the... Reed taking a lot on board already in this Sunday broadcast. Seems to be a target, Damon. Mm. Kiwi! Me and Chris got along good back in the day. He was younger. And Sar over the top. He's not the P at one double five. <laughs> this dude is very comfortable out here on the floor. Speaking of young, vastly talented players, Alex Sar, a little out of how tight that playoff finish was last year. Damon, that coffee is going to taste a lot different tomorrow morning if the Phoenix are one and one as opposed to zero oh and two. Don't even trip. Wagstaff and Moeller in. Just listening into Mike Kelly at that three-quarter time break, he's mostly impressed by the 12 points that they conceded, not the 38 that they put on the board. Another big defensive effort. Damon wants to lick it. There's no, there's no red wine over here. Just, just pass that basketball over here. Travel. Freddie from Saar as Cotton behind the back feeds do. Little working on Tori Smith Milner. Outside, Saar works on Humphreys. Tough shot under pressure. All the bottom of the net. This gets the team chemistry going. You're playing unselfish, finding the open man, and that's when it's fun out there playing. The Saar marches. Nice pass found Wiley. Oh, he got reverse. And CJ Bruton disappointed there was no whistle there as the lock pass from Harris to Saar was ambitious. Thanks to my teammates, but I'm also going to play to the strengths of mine, and scoring is one of those. This Saar taking on multiple defenders. Whistle on the play, free throws to court. Takes it hard at Sunday Ditch and now retreats away. Saar, well positioned, goes to work with the right oh. hand. Waited for that mid pick and roll. The rotation came out and found the open man sitting in the corner. Great execution out of a break for CJ. And now we've got a one possession game. A lead down to a single point. And a great quarter. Adelaide up and about defensively, getting some stops. Although, might have got lucky with that one. Shot down by So, the second block of the game. And a chance for Webster at the other end. Goes to Saar. Bryce Cotton. Once Saar involved, not pass rolling down to the baseline, running out of room, draws it. Southeast Melbourne. This came on a nice edge, and Traquel's lost the handle on it. Pinder, Usher joining in. Saar said, Give me the long pass! And Humphrey's got back there to defuse. Big buckets now. Three point game. Perth will be trying to get an execute. They've run this play quite a number of times with a dribble handoff for Bryce and. Look, oh, Doolittle. Reluctant to pull the trigger. Hasn't hit a shot in the game. Saar looked a little nervous taking that. <laughs> Big buckets now. Three-point game. Perth will be trying to get an execute. They've run this play quite a number of times with a dribble handoff for Bryce and Look, oh, Doolittle. Reluctant to pull the trigger. Hasn't hit a shot in the game. Saar looked a little nervous taking that. Look at the Wildcats off here and they get a score score and it's going to be hard for Adelaide to come back. Well, Saar from deep on the floor, the 18th. 
was that man Sarr again. He actually gave up inside position, but managed to do enough to come up with a D-board. 13 points, six boards, two blocks for Sarr as Cotton goes back to him again. The teenager blocks another three. Cotton, Usher, Sarr and Webster joining in on cue. Front of the rim, wouldn't fall for him. I had a piece of it, but couldn't get him quickly. Trying to draw a foul on Bryce Cotton. Or he's see it that way. So loose ball scramble, and Cotton gets after it. Chance for the Wildcats. Almost four minutes played in this opening quarter. Saar, Alephant Cats. Four by two. Cotton exploring. Back to Pinder. Looks inside. Quick pass. Saar elevates against Rob Lowe. That was pretty to walk. Couldn't get a whistle, though. A little over two minutes left in this opening quarter. We're tied at 17. Both teams have had their moments. They haven't been able to really assert their authority, but it's been good to watch as Harris extra pass here for Saar. Four points, two dunks. I think he's enjoying himself out there. It certainly looks like it as Saar fires the three. It's short. Low grabbed it initially. Now hands over. Michael Harris. Saar wants Cotton. He was open and turned him down. Wants to go solo and put on some fancy footwork that couldn't hit the target. Kept the Create down the other end through... Delhi penetration, kick out to an open man. They take care of business. Huge shift in momentum. And now Alex, another two from long range for him. Chance for Cotton. Finds Saar. Just lost the handle under pressure from Bowen. Scoop his last three shots have hit the all front of the rim. He's going to get that ball up. And they down the other end. That's a foul on hook court. He just with a body and march. And that's number a bit of a stare down. That was a really good defensive set for the Wildcats except for the last little bit with Luke Travers. Yes, Saar elevating, just level. Four is the run in favour of Melbourne United. In the last three minutes, as Saar takes them on, a little out of control, is the run in favour of Melbourne United. In the last three minutes, as Saar takes them on, a little out of control, got his own rebound against Latham, rejected by Bowen, turnaround shot, rattles around. Okay. Ty Webster exploring back to Corey Saar from the spot where he won the game last week against Adelaide and he does it again. Della Vadova marked with the back end. So here comes Alex Saar from half court. Get it on target. So we turn for home and Melbourne who led by four. Defender is going to make it hard for him to even catch it. And when you catch it, he's going to force you off where ideally you want the ball like you've just seen. Two metres off the three-point line. He needs to catch that lower. Saar short on the front of the rim with the three. All the way that got them across the line. Here's Cotton. Wheeling and dealing. Takes multiple defenders on. Saar pulls up. He's overtook the shot. And we're going to move inside. The last five minutes solved the game. Shot clock a single digit. Saar challenged by Rob Lowe. He's done an excellent deep. Both teams over the limit in terms of fouls in this last quarter. Inside the last 60 seconds, Webster takes on Clark, nothing on offer. Alex Saar, this time the three won't work. Pinned to the rebound, kept it alive, but falling out. Point game at Kudos Bank Arena. Saar, from the elbow. Where's that rattle? Speaking of next stars, there's Alex Tui. Right place, right time. Galloway with the steal. And the bucket. Things have slowed down a little in this second quarter. Here's Alex Saab. Good look that rattles out. Webster for Saab. Frustration from the Perth bench is Saab. That's it fly, and that's well short. Just two points for Perth in the first couple of minutes of this fourth quarter. And this game is in danger of slipping away from them. Now Sydney have gone to their own zone. Leads to a baby oh, jumper by Saar. Silent Cheatham of the New Zealand Breakers. And you know what, when you speak to Quat Noy, one of the things he is, he's so comfortable in this environment. He's engaged. Oh, yes. Yeah. He moved his feet. And Derek, you mentioned earlier, sometimes you just got to stop your man. And he did that right there. He's put back in by Saar. That time gets into the paint. They don't come to him. The easy kiss off the glass. 
Had 11 in the opening quarter of his first game for the 36ers against the Phoenix on Thursday. Well done, Usher, to get Corey Webster another look, and he takes full advantage. Defensively, all of a sudden, he becomes a rim protector and a defensive rebounder. Wild pass came to Usher, and they stood off him. His three ball wouldn't work, but Alex Saar gets up. Court ball watching there. I like the leadership from Isaac. It's Corey Webster being good. Saar goes hard to the rim. Talked out of the points. Loose ball. And it's been assists. So shot clock to single digits here as Cotton feeds Saar. Working on Humphreys. A young gun against one of the oh more experienced centers. Oh that's goodness. an excellent fit. Holding you account. And that's why DJ Vasiljevic thought it needed to be a players only meeting after the Thursday night loss to the Phoenix. Saar from deep. Not on this occasion. Galloway grabs the board. Same play, just a different part of the court. They switch the extra pass again, the high-low, but they're punishing the switching of the Adelaide, the Perth Wildcats. He, he sometimes plays for the... And, and he's wanting the whistle. Mm -hmm. Rather than just playing through it and letting it take its natural course, he's... So after Perth led by seven, Adelaide now find themselves up two here. Two and a half left in the third. Saar puts it on the deck, rushes to the rim, and comes up with the... Adelaide cannot afford to foul. Perth already over the limit. Shot clock to single digits. Cotton found an opening. Now Humphreys was worried about his man and took his eye off the ball. They can't come in the face. Got to get more movement, ball screens, handoffs, so that everybody gets involved. Saar, he pulls the trigger on the three. That's off the mark. Kadi had between those two. I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing lots of minutes tonight and, and looking to the future two NBA prospects that could have a long career playing over there as well. Oh, it's, I mean, it's so exciting to see the, to know that we, we see it tonight. And I like what Bannon does here. He's, he's someone that's got great touch. He's got a big physical body. He's athletic. He can play both sides and he's tough. And I think this is a good matchup for him tonight. Doolittle struggled a little bit, a little bit inconsistent right now, but I think this is a really good one for both guys to really showcase what... So he's only missed the two all season. There's Nathan Sobey from his 37 attempts. That lead just keeps stretching. Now a game high, 15. Cotton back out there for the Cats. Offensive foul. It's a lot of tall timber. It's a lot of talent in those two frames as well. Here is Saar going straight to work, leaning in and the foul. It's a phenomenal move. It's going to be important for them to try and keep that up. Chris Smith got the end one at the other end. Back to a four point spread. Saar inside had it poked away. Defensive end, and you know, some of the, the old wise players, you got Jesse Wagstaff on the bench, who phenomenal career and still got. Oh, rock up! why they're up. And up by as many as 20 in that third period off the back of a 17 to 2 run. Saar scooting his way inside. It's a field goal attempt so far for DJ. He's cotton. Usher, nice pass inside for Saar. Nice hand from Smith Milner. Goal attempt so far for DJ. He's Cotton. Usher, nice pass inside for Saar. Nice hand from Smith Milner. To hold it for the last play here. Just run the clock down. That's a good screen by Jesse. Ah, Saar puts him in that huddle. And it's the voice of Damian Martin and Trevor Gleeson at RAC Arena. Saturday night hoop tunnel in Maley courtside as well. Doolittle. Little drop off for Saar. Humphreys picks up another foul. That's a 10 point game. Nice fight back here from Adelaide. It is, and it's really coming on this end again. They're doing a really good job. And forcing those long shots, getting rebounds and timeout. Annalie, you were listening to CJ Bruton. Yeah, he just told them that he wants them to stay in the zone, but don't give them open threes. And he wants them to contest at the rim without fouling. So let's see how that goes. Cotton finds Saar. That's off target as well. Usher came flying in and tapped it to the advantage of Cotton, who's downhill. Great down of communication as well. And two fouls on Kyle Bowen. So with Ariel Hook 40, still yet to return. And big man depth. He's starting to be tested a little. Luala Chul Jr. is still out there. Here's Alex Saar. It's about the way they're playing. Wow. Alex Saar is full of confidence. Perth back in. What's the latest on Ian Clark?
Yeah, well, it looks like Ian Clark's going to take no further part in this game. Another blow to United, of course. Trav is already out for the contest, and Ian Clark as well. He's got no ice on or anything, so it looks to be that recurring injury rearing its head again. For the season, Kyle Bowen. It is, but I repeat. <laughs> Don't try and execute like that. <laughs> if you're looking to be an elite shooter. Sam loses possession. One of three for the night from outside. A very different Perth lineup on the floor, and that's a travel. You cover. You've got to put more ball pressure on when you've got someone that can pop it and knock down the three. Alex Sar checks back in. The next star. Oh. And me for Goldie. And they quelled his influence. Do a little stole out of way. Sar in the open floor. Gliding down. 20 points now for Matthew Delavadova. As Golding gets set to check back in. Tanner Krebs alongside him. Doolittle, what a fight oh. for Saar. In control for the Wildcats. He finds Saar. Met upstairs by the Wilder Chul, no foul. Price Cotton creates some separation, easy too. Tries his luck. Offensive rebound. Look, Delavadova almost came up with it. Cotton baseline for Asha. Found Sar eventually. And the next star tips it in. Look, Delavadova almost came up with it. Cotton baseline for Asha. Found Sar eventually. And the next star. Illy all up and in on Usher. Perth almost lost the handle. Saar can't score. Usher offensive rebound. He misses. Limited, particularly when you've got a five-point lead. Cotton's pass intercepted. Long levers of Alex Saar. He walks the tightrope. Shot clock at five. Delivered over all over him. Perth needs to shoot. Saar from halfway. Oh. Perth have to be really smart here and make sure they get a good shot every time. Don't force anything. Usher to the rack. Pass was too hot for Saar. Got his hands. Or just dumped it. Alex Saar with the team. Still plenty of time for Melbourne. They trail by five. Golding for three. No good. Next star from yeah. Bordeaux, France. In for his first minutes as well. Mm. Here he is, the big man on the perimeter. Mm. Oh, well, yeah, they get down, but they, they're smart enough to get themselves back. They play hard enough to get themselves back in most contests. Sure, they're just Offensive the rebound. Board. Yeah, they're just crashing the boards. Much star baseline, blocked by Pena. Wildcats started a 7-0 run and they've held sway for the majority of this opening term. Lovely pass inside from Cotton. Saar falling away. Here comes Bryce. Fancy move. Behind the back pass to Usher. Spinning inside. Finds Cotton in the corner. It's wild offense from the Wildcats. But... Referees. And I look straight to Adam Ford. Every ounce of him wanted to ask for a tech foul. But I think that previous mateship, that friendship he's got with Bryce, he kept his mouth shut and they played on. Here's Saar who goes up and he's fouled. Plenty of that plus minus goodness through NBL Plus. Oh, she's a QR code. She's a QR code. Yep. Yeah, you're, a more, you're a more savvy man. That was an ugly offensive possession. Two tough shots. Didn't even hit the ring on, on two of them. Great. After the Wildcats. Defended by McCall. Saar for three. That'll go. Looking for that one to be let go out of everything else that's been called. Half a minute remaining in this third period. Cats by six. Saar again from outside. That one won't hit, but won't hit, but Doolittle keeps it alive. And finds Saar underneath, who hammers it home! Earth led by as many as nine earlier in the quarter. Bag stuff out there. It's great to see the young local talent. Hopefully, here's Saar with a steal. He can't keep it in his own hand.
spoke about off-season pickups. There's nothing bigger than that one. If you can get the best out of Jonah Bolden from what we saw before he, he walked away from the game for a little bit, then he might be the biggest pickup across the whole league. Well, that's eight unanswered points now from the Sydney Kings after Perth had taken the lead. The Kings have answered. Alex Saar from outside gets it down. Good battle between two former MVPs. They lob the ball down low. Saar with a mismatch on Glover gets the two, draws a foul. 9-4 run from the Kings after Perth had drawn back level. Saar drawing Hogue out of the pain and now Cotton feeds back to the big man off the mark. Galloway gets after the loose ball. Doom little deflected it, keeps it alive. Usher works inside Bruce through the attention. He tries to share it with Cotton. Taken on Bruce. Now cutting across. Wraparound pass was pretty to fly. Doolittle wants to take on Bruce. Muscles his way into close range but can't convert. A poor pass picked off. Saar awake to a shooting. Cotton, hard to buy two. He did a good job then. Now Alex Saar. The outside wouldn't work. Glover. Little sh just the smallest of shuffling of the feet. And they kick him out for a travel. Saar from the free throw line. Nick Star unsuccessful. Wildcats with the last possession of the corner. Desperate for something to take into this first break. Saar is foul. AJ Johnson trying to create. Blocked by Usher. Now Saar trying to take it coast to coast. Foul. And one. Why? It's the same team and why they're playing so much differently than they are. They were. Corey Webster. Nice look for Alex Saar, top of the key. And Sam is getting the job done tonight for the Hawks. They're simply making somebody else beat you. That's what they're doing. Oh, that's travel. Saar will have to shoot. One on the shot clock. Wow. Birth get a stop at one end. Size of Doolittle has been a big problem for them in the third quarter. Saar over the in this third term. Langstaff can't tip it in first time. Second time around. Loose ball finds its way to Saar. Ball tennis court. <laughs> And the uh, confetti in the bucket trick. I'm sure they still do that one. You guys had the Harlem Globetrotters outside? The brick. Plus 12 tonight, the teenager, AJ Johnson. Has had an impact off the bench. Alex Saar, that is a thing of beauty. That Good guy for the Illawarra Hawks for the last couple of seasons. Comes up with a big basket. Saar a lot of them this season. He's a player. For Saar. McDonald on Bryce Cotton denying him the ball. Now they haven't got a secondary down on the boards. Can they maintain it the whole game? It's a problem for Perth. And turnovers, it's number five turnover. McDonald catch and shoot. Wildcats dodge a bullet. Listen, I was a big fan of Doyle early in the season. Probably gone off the boil a little bit. And the kick out to Saar. It was a good hit, but and now he's starting to mature a little bit as he gets older. Still only 25 as well. He's got a lot of basketball left in him. Saar takes the bump. Beautiful touch. And here he is, the French next star. Trying to get it done at the other end. Just defense rebound count at halftime, Trev. Did it improve in the third quarter? Well, oh, he got the no goal for it. Then when he's off the court, he's been a lot more aggressive. Star short on the three. Cotton feels like he doesn't have freedom of movement right now. He doesn't. And Michael Harrison for the Wildcats. As Liam said, the next star, Alex Star in two. I had the advantage of the size, so I could, you know, the size you post someone up and do it a little differently. But Star, oh, what in transition. Star's already knocked down one. It's uh, not working at this point in time. Yeah. This time, gets a little bit of clear air. Feeds Usher. Extra pass underneath. Saar. The Melbourne captain makes him pay. Oh, 
fumble from Cotton. And the Wildcats will reset. Saar off the dribble. Eight of them were in that third quarter. So they showed better signs, but they coughed it up a little. And I think that's a product of trying to push the ball. The Wildcats inbound. You are three. And again, Wildcats run this shot clock down. There's nothing available. It has to be Saar from the free throw. Play the game. And the struggles from in close continue. Bands is 4 of 16. As Saar left wide open. Hope Bands within reach in this first quarter. This season right now for Ball Cole. It's called betting on yourself. Got the one-year deal. Ends his free agency again. To show that he can be an offensive. A little mini fight back here from Cairns. Down by as much as 12. Oh, Saar. Good well on the offensive bar. <laughs> I think they had too much Christmas pudding yesterday. I was thinking that. <laughs> I think they might have had a nice little feast. Yeah. Here's Saar. Getting to work. Gets a finish. Isn't the last couple of games, but he's got the matchup right now against the next star. There he is. The other. I know Pat Miller got deep, but he still has to shoot that over Alex Saar. That's an outstretch. Long outstretch arm to have to try and get that floater across without really getting that ball movement side to side but also north to south put some heat on the rim Saar again quite night for Patrick Miller got his lofty standards in his first season in the NBL there is Saar he, there is Saar he goes upstairs Wardenberg meets him he tries to get a steal call once again so far they trailed by six not long ago. Lead by three now. And a good response by the 36 to Saar creates something. In the NBL, it's tremendous. Probably, probably the same number. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> it might be similar. It's the, oh, that oh, is... Oh, well, that's... Obviously, Perk want to get some stops and slow down as the a little bit. That's exactly what they've done here. They've got the stop. And then Saar again shows his athletic floor. Webster, Usher, Michael Harris, David Aquera. A couple of players getting some minutes. And Alex Saar with the ball in hand here. Again, looking to take on Wiley. And again with another smooth move. The court, no ball movement, quick swing and the three-point look. It's, it's not going to be able to beat the Perk Wildcats when you're playing that brand of basketball. And that's that too play. easy. They're stagnant. There's not a whole lot of ball and player movement. Just the nine points in this third turn. 36ers. Perth have just put them to the sword in this third quarter. I, I like on the offensive end there what Adelaide did. It was next star versus next star. Trenton Flowers saw the big on him and drove to the basket and got the bucket. That's good to see from the young fellas. We, we see it. The projected pick number two. And now the NBA mock drafts. Missed the last four games with that hip injury. Great to see him back out there playing some ball. Little back the other way on the turnover. Heartland fans loving it at the moment. Saar's got the mismatch on air. Go straight at him. They're getting to the cup way too easy. If you're going to beat this team, the Illawarra had the formula. Kicked him in the 70s. Now Jesus. <laughs> Six minutes remaining in this second period. Wildcats by 14. Coming off a loss by 18 to Illawarra on Thursday night. Cotton up among the trees. Saar gets it to go, and he's back. Miss Vague, six seasons with the Wildcats, multiple time champion. Saar now to the spin move. Have a look at that. Ben Ayres got 12 to join Mitch Creek in double digits for the Phoenix. Saar underneath, puts it. They're not going away, the Phoenix. Saar rumbling down the lane. Contact from Rapp. Well, Who's the hard man? Who he said he needs a couple of homegirls. Here's Alex Saar on the break with the pace. And Phoenix, we know how undermanned they are. Two physical games in a row. And the Wildcats, they've had a big road trip from Perth all the way here. And then, of course, Trent against the Kings. The Phoenix shot nearly 50% from three. They're hovering in the low 30s right now. Saar from the corner. Why not add that to his night? But it was an aggressive one. And the off the ball movement was good, and another good pass by Creek down that end. QR Codal. 
jump on the website and check it all out. Saar extends. It's been that sort of turn. Look at Saar running the floor. Off the two little pass. Matt. And finish that strong. Last minute of the opening term. And the breakers get the ball back again. They are for stepping back. Earlier this evening. I love this from the Cairns type end. They're picking up full court on every possession that they can, whether it's just on a point guard and up to go and contest the three in the corner. There's just no way you make that mistake. And it has a dominoes effect for two reasons you don't leave him. He's doing little two teams. Oh, Cotton threw it upstairs to some. 35 seconds to go in this opening half. Saar oh, and nine in the ball game. Josh Roberts setting to, getting set to check in for the Snakes. Doolittle can't oh. get that to go. Yeah, I love that that was an acceptable shot with the first couple of possessions of the game. And they're still taking it as an acceptable shot, even though they're down late in the third. Saar going into the post, turning around, can't hit. So still a four-point game. Ty fans are... Making a good fist of this down the stretch. Looks like the Wildcats might run away with it in that third period. Here's Saar going over the top of Roberts. Can't hit. Indra tried to... He's running out, but um, I don't know if you want me to talk He's to anyone. Lachlan Anderson taken away. Henschel up to Saar! Still a couple of seconds between the shot and the game clock. Alex Saar to give us one more for the road. Little fade away from the baseline. Oh, that is Cotton. Winding the clock down, getting to his spot, can't hit. Saar rips it down. That on Bryce Cotton, and this read said, hey, there's still a minute 20 to go. Full court in move. That's the kind of respect they have for what he does. He doesn't want to give him any space whatsoever. Yes, he kept his nose clean early stages of full ball as well, which is important for the Snakes. Couple of possessions here for the Wildcats, but Miller's here. Almost got the fifth time one. lucky. Offensive rebound. You know the shooters are going to have their feet down. Hands ready to catch and shoot. Nine offensive rebounds in this first eight and a half minutes. Oh, what? Oh. oh, it's for Gary Clark. All 12 points from the three point liners. Saar, that's better. Getting some rebounds and a chance for a three point play. Next. But I've got Sydney beating South East Melbourne, and you're telling me, Source, you're confident South East can win this weekend, so who knows? As Saar. Absolutely, and, and where you have to have it is the defensive end. We've seen in the past years in the NBL, the champions are top two, top three in the defensive category all the time. It's, oh, it's, the, it's the metric that we see, and as we see, and for the most part, all their baskets are to scout, too. They're yeah. right on the scouting court. Ben Henschel into the game. Defense for Pete Lee, and scoring Perth by eight. Clark had the hot hand that was halfway down. Saar just coughs it up. Uh, that thing's going up and, and usually going down. 20 points for Bryce Cotton. There he's on the defensive end. You've spoken about it, Source. And then he sets up Saar and all of a sudden scores a four. Now they are shooting just 50%. They are keeping the door ajar for this Wildcat side. This brings to the Zillowara Hawks squad is that court vision and the ability to make those, those tougher passes. Saar. A three point shot. Full digit lead of the night. I mean, David Hickey's been enormous, but Justin Robertson in transition is like lightning. How quickly he gets down the floor. They have up the ante here, the Illawarra Hall. Hickey, man. He's coming out firing on all cylinders, getting out in transition, making defensive stops. Hold for it. Do they hand off to Cobb. He moves out the way, allows Saar to go to work on the youngster, Olbrich. Now keep out of his bench. I haven't seen the ice pack come yet. I hope they're not having any discussion at the moment. Need to get him back out there. Saar just showing, showing that athleticism. On the basket, finished with both hands as he took the time there to get up and, and knock it down over the seven-footer. Even still, this game looks like it's done and done. I'm not, in fact, yes, I am. Steve Smith of Atlanta Hawks, correct? Steve Smith. Yeah. Not, not the cricketers, really. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> Oh, God. Put down a seven. Alex Saar a long way from the cup. Trying to get to work over Magna. Oh, good oh. deep. Oh, he said that. I think he's... Oh. in consideration for the Boomers team. 
You mean the team? The team! The way in which he can do so much at that size, it's becoming the norm when you see some of the superstars in the NBA these days. Look out! On the sidelines, did well defensively. Saw the spin and over the top of Magnate. That is nice. Team point lead to Tasmania. It's all happening for them in the second quarter. And Saab, Scott Roth. Can they piece a couple of plays together to get something going? Saar on the move, extends. He's got a real bright future. Hasn't been able to get in the ball. Looked a little rough with some of his shots this evening. There's that double team that we're talking about. They're getting into their rotations and they really do they get burnt. That's a tough shot. But up. <laughs> Perth has only scored 48 points for the game. A reminder, they averaged 94.8 per game. Not to mention the little gift bag for each of us on a ride with Drew. We arrived here and there's a little bag with our names on it, some presents. A spin from Alex Sarp. Worry, come postseason. Yeah, it is a worry, for sure. And some of it is the body, some of them is the desire, some of it is the technique. Actually turning around and blocking out and getting a body on those guys as Sarp lines one up and thrills it. Um, no offence taken. Oh, well, another that they, they spoke like a starter. The rookie. Okay. No, because <laughs> I've said this before. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times Dave Robinson, Tim Duncan, and Drew. <laughs>